welcome to the crafty room this is a channel where you will find me unboxing lots of toys and of course doing crafts and also the odd random kind of thing because you know you need to spice it up a little differently every now and then my name is Dee and if that sounds good to you then please consider subscribing today we have this little kit called pixel bits and it says it is uh, basically a building kind of product or toy where you just need some water to connect the pieces together to create multiple things. And I thought, well, that's pretty cool because of course I've done the melty beads, which you need an iron obviously for. Um, and uh, an example of that is I did a recent one for the Halloween season. This is a dollar store melty bead um, craft and you can see I made a little pumpkin. But again, I did have to melt it with a hot iron and sometimes, I mean these are dollar store beads so I don't expect them to be like perler beads which are uh, I think a higher quality bead. But you know, it is something that uh, requires some adult supervision depending on the age of your child. This one though with water, I mean, yeah, kids can spray a little water, miss a little water. You can make a little spot for them on a table to to do that. That's that's safer, so much safer. And so I thought that was a really cool idea. Plus, of course, being pixel bits, and they're kind of going on the line that you're creating kind of pixelated little characters or things like whatever one I guess buildings or whatever cars like whatever your imagination will allow you to do now this is a metallic kit so I guess the pieces are have some sort of metallic look to them it tells you what you get in the kit on the back it says you get 66 of these purple ones the darker purple 48 kind of um, like a lighter purple 35 what looks like almost like a blue and then seven white ish kind of colored ones you get something here i'm not sure what that is instructions i believe you get stickers so that you can personalize your creation and i'm thinking that we're going to probably try to do some sort of figurine we'll see what we get inspired to do you get um i guess this is your mist bottle um not sure two different nozzles maybe and maybe a little tree to where you create your um, final your figurine or whatever it is you're doing. And a template. Oh, okay, templates. Yeah, that's good. There's two templates in here. So let's open this guy up and see what we get. Um, seems like it'll be easier to open from the bottom. I'm going to use my Mr. Sharp. <laughs> okay, where you're going to... You have to be careful with Mr. Sharp. He is not fooling. You could hurt yourself. Let's get into it. I'm excited. I think it's kind of cool, you know. Oh, we have more tape. Not done with Mr. Shark. It's interesting to try different things, and these companies are coming up with uh, some really cool concepts, in my opinion. Who makes this? Is it? It's Spin Master. Okay, perfect. That's nice. They make some good stuff. I like, usually like, I like, usually like, I usually like their stuff. <laughs> okay, let's pull out our item. Out you come. And that seems to be it. That's cool. So it's a tiny little kit. You can get bigger kits and more um, fancier. Uh, you can get, I believe, what's called a Pixobit Studio, which has uh, a lot more to it, of course. But uh, I thought I'd just start with a smaller kit just so we could see what it's like. So that's just a number if you need help with your product. This, I guess, are your instructions. Here are our little pixel bits. Oh, so it's pink, purple, and like a mint, I guess, and some white. Okay. We have two templates. This is our little tray. Isn't it cute? It's so small. <laughs> oh. Okay, so our first... Oh, there's one on each side. Let me just see this here. Um, okay, so if you want to create this... Okay, you have to do two sides. You do this piece, and then you would have to do this piece, and I guess combine them to create... Um, gives me like a Sphinx vibe or something like that. So that's cool. So I guess this kit is to make something specific to um, that particular um, purchase. So that's interesting. 
Uh, here we have this little fella, so cute. So I guess you would have to do this side, and it's missing these pieces, but I do see them in here. So there's special pieces that are included. And then you would have to do these pieces as well. Let me just see here. Oh, this is a different thing. Okay, so these are three different things. So this is one thing, this guy. That's kind of cool. And then you can make this. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but you can make it. <laughs> and then this, they look like signs almost, right? And then you can make like this little critter. How cute is that? Well, let's try making all of them. I mean, that seems like a lot of fun. I didn't realize you'd be getting um, the ability to make all these things. So, um, of course, because of time, we will definitely speed up some of the processes, but you'll still obviously be able to see what's going on. We'll go through one at least together without speeding it up so you can fully understand as well as myself how this works because we're learning a little bit together. Okay. Seems like I need my scissors again. Okay. So we're going to get out the mist bottle. Apparently I'm going to have to fill you. Okay. Um, and I don't know what this little clear piece is. I think it's maybe too... I don't know. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a minute break. Uh, well, a second for you. But I'm going to read through the instructions that we got with the kit so that I'm better um, informed as to what we need to do and then I can walk you through it when I get back. Okay? Alright, thank you. Okay, I'm back and I think I got it. First of all, these say to prep your, your uh, workspace, of course, so if you wanted to definitely keep some paper towel on hand because we are working with water. Um, and it shows you step by step in pictures mostly how to do this little character. So I'm going to move this aside. We will try to do this character first. So I'm going to open up these bags. So this is the right one. This is all we need. So this is all we need to do. The only thing different, and it shows you, okay, that makes sense too. They have numbers as to how many layers you will need. So for this section, pink, you just need one layer. Here, again, one. And then for this to create kind of like, I guess, a front like foot or something like that, um, you would need to stack to another one on it on these ones. I hope that makes sense. We'll, we'll see it together. So we go over this like so. Oops, straighten you up. So now let's see. I did put water in my mister. Now it does have, of course, have your regular light misting spray, but it also has a little kind of spongy section which allows you to dab on um, just more detailed spots and that you want to attach things to and also it's good for you know, dabbing on top of the decals to ensure that they will stay. So here we are. We're lining things up. There we go. So let's get going. It's pretty good there. So for now, it really is just like perler beads or melty beads. Or even <laughs> kind of gives me a diamond painting vibe too. You're just following the pattern here with the right pieces. And we spray it with our misting part of the bottle. Okay, I'm going to prime it. Oh, it really has some very fine mist. That's awesome. And it says to like spray it three, or sorry, six times. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we have to wait 20 minutes. So I will do that and we'll be right back and see what happens. Okay, so we're back. It's been 20 minutes and we're going to check and see if this has stuck together. Um, because the next layer that we put on, which are just the two little pieces here, which um, actually, you know what? Right. Is it sticky? It's not really feeling, it's feeling maybe slightly tacky, very, very slightly. Now, I'm not supposed to be removing it yet, so I guess I can't see if it's stuck together yet. 
Um, yeah, because I have to now put these two pieces on and then spray it again and wait 45 minutes. Uh, okay, so I have to spray it six times again. I'm going to have to do the ears separately and with the decals afterwards, but I will have to find my sprayer, my spritzer, and I'll just have to uh, do all that after 45 minutes. I missed a thing or two, but I think I have it now. So what I was supposed to do is to um, do the first layer, spritz it, and then I should have done the decals. And then after 20 minutes, I could take him out of or off the tray, do the ears, and then wait 45 minutes. So that's okay. We'll just do the decals now since it's moistened again anyway. Okay, another 20 minutes has finally passed, and we get to take our little friend off of the tray and see what we have before we, now we have to be gentle, before we put on her ears. It doesn't seem like, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Huh, fell apart. Now, did I read that right, or did I mess something up? Now, I sprayed it the six times, and then some. So, I'm not sure what happened here. Okay, let's see. Do your layers. Spray it six times. Put on your decals. Uh, sponge it. 20 minutes later, it looks like you're taking it off, because there it is again. Put on the ears with water, wait 45 minutes. Well, that didn't work. Okay, so what I'm going to do is spray it once more. Okay, and we'll let it sit another 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been actually a little longer than 20 minutes. It's been about half an hour. And if it doesn't hold together by now, because we've got a total of 40 minutes and a half hour, so that's like an hour and 10 minutes, um, then, I don't know, I'd hate to say it, but then I guess it's just not, not going to be a very good option for a toy. But I'm hoping, I have high hopes for it. Come on, stick together. Let's try to get it off the tree. Oh, yes! It does work. Woo! That's awesome. Actually, was this one? Yeah, no. Okay. Now, it's still a little bit wet, but it's not really feeling tacky. I would definitely still be very careful with it because after I put the ears on, it does say to give it another 45 minutes before you actually play with your character. And look, it's so cute. Look at those colors, the pink and the minty green. And the little face is so adorable. Okay, so it wasn't maybe, you know... 20 minutes like they said but I think it's pretty cute nonetheless let's see if we can we, can I squeeze water out onto the sponge oh, okay you have to push then the water comes out on it okay so that's my bad so what we are supposed to do here to attach the ears is just push because we want to wet the section is that what it is it turns sticky and we put our ear on top I'm just gonna a little bit of pressure there gently and the same here actually I'll just wet the ear and then we'll do both I don't know if it matters okay as long as we have water there we should be good oh so cute I'm actually gonna do some more here might as well do the same thing so we'll give an honest review. Okay. All right. There we go. And while this sits for, whoops, for 45 minutes, I can't really move it, um, like lie it down right now to show you better. But um, here, I'll just be very careful. Yeah, I'll make the other characters and when everything is all done, I will come back and we'll take a look at them all together. 
finished, okay? <laughs> so it'll be a second for you, but it'll be a while for me. See you in a second. Okay, guys. It has been a little while since um, I started this craft. I don't know what happened. I mean, it took me a while to finish the other characters and items, but, uh, and then it just, I don't know, I, I just forgot about it. So I am filming this a little later for sure. And uh, yeah, but I do have it here and I'm gonna show you and bring you guys down and I'll show you these cute little things that we made. Look at that. These are the Pixo bits. Aren't they cute? Or bites are they? Bits, I think. But anyways, they're so cute. We have a, our little mouse here. Like, so cute. And then we have a little box of cereal, our Hollywood Crunchies. Of course, we have the character that we initially made together. And look, we have like a little llama guy. And it seems to me that they actually have it where you can put something inside there. So we could take our little Hollywood Crunchies whoops that was close <laughs> and put it in the back cute right and look at the little duggles so sweet and then we have a cute little almost like one of the uh starbucks vibed little drink sign and i think it is so cute so my final thoughts on this kit is they were it took a little more water applications uh than it had suggested at least for it did for me I don't know maybe it's user error I'm not sure but it did for me but it didn't change the fact that I did find it really really cute it took a little longer for it to dry of course because I used more water but you know it's pretty cute they're pretty solid I have them displayed on my dresser and um, yeah I'm pretty pleased with it so I'd really like to know what your thoughts are on these uh, little pixel bites and um, or bits and uh, leave me a comment down below but <laughs> I'm so glad to finally get this video out to you guys and uh, until I talk to you guys next time take care of yourselves and others and I'll see you in the next video bye guys Bye.